both fucking sides. So one thing that I think is super important in a relationship is having a level of equal respect. I think a woman traditionally should look up to her man, look at you for guidance, inspiration, protection, help. The list can go on forever. And I also think the woman should provide a lot of values that are also equal to some of the things I just said. Regardless, we need each other. I might be better at this, she might be better at that. When we come together, it's supposed to be this big, great thing. But what is absolutely unacceptable, bro, is when some of you niggas get carried around on a leash by your girl, bro. Come on, man. I hate seeing that shit. Man, huh, bro? I'm talking about the guys that want to go hang out with their bros for the day. Like, you just, you want to just get some alone time away from your woman. You want to just go do you for a second. But your girl said, no, you need to stay here and rub my feet. And the worst part is, you listen, my nigga. <laughs> you played yourself, bro. As much as I want to tell you to stay away from this type of woman, if you as a man find yourself in these type of scenarios, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You need to take a look in the mirror because <laughs> you got some work to do because we got to call a spade a spade if you acting like a bitch it, she's gonna treat you like one it's really important to listen to your girl especially if she's a good girl a lot of times girls are smarter than us but the difference is you need to be listening to a woman who respects you as a man and not the woman that just wants you to do her bidding at the end of the day be a man Find the right woman for you because the one that's 100% right for you might be 100% wrong for me. All this shit's opinionated at the end of the day, right? I'm just giving you mine. And for my female viewers, don't worry, ladies. If y'all show me you want it, I definitely got the seven type of niggas you don't want to date. We all have our flaws and we all got a lot of improving to do. But I think the first step in recognizing what we want out of our partner is looking in the mirror and asking yourself, do you even have the qualities that your ideal thought of a partner even wants in the first place?